Welcome everyone. Today we will be manufacturing and testing our I20N GPF back exhaust system. The standard exhaust on these is quite restrictive. We'll be showing you later in the video and comparing it to our exhaust system. We currently have got GPF delete on this, but sometimes it's not enough for some people and they want a little bit more. So what we'll be doing in the future is we'll be running a sports cap, our flexi and GPF back exhaust system. We'll be able to get it on the dyno once we've got all these mods on and we'll be able to show you some figures and see how much it's increased by. We're preparing the car, getting all the mods together, getting all the mods on it, ready for when remapping becomes available and we should be able to push some good power out of this. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. Here we've got our 3 inch exhaust system we've just made. This is the direct comparison to the standard system. The standard system is 60 mil throughout with a 46 mil restriction at the rear of the back box. Ours is 76 mil, 3 inch, from all the way throughout. There'll be a lot of benefits in this, as in performance, sound, you're going to gain a bit once the car probably goes on the dyno, and when further mods comes out, you're going to gain a bit more. It still retains the OEM valve so all the functions work the same as on the screen inside the car. You've got a choice of tips, either forged carbon, black stainless, and there'll be more to come on the site soon. So we're here now at Courtney's Port to get our I20N on the dyno. We're going to see what power the GPF delete and GPF back exhaust system has made. If you don't know who Courtney's Port are, they are highly regarded in the Hyundai community to be one of the best mappers for these. So let's see what power the I20N makes and we'll go from there. So the results are in from Courtney Sport. Unfortunately, we weren't able to do a dyno run in stock form, but here is a graph of our GPF delete and our three inch GPF back exhaust system. Overall, you can see brake horsepower has remained the same, but what is impressive is a 36 foot pound increase of torque, making the i20N feeling a lot more punchier. As you can hear in the video, the tone and the sound is a lot deeper than stock, while virtually having zero drone. These are also available to purchase from our website with multiple choices of tips. Hope you enjoyed our video and we'll see you on the next one.